On this edition of the HDTV Morning Announcements, a man in a van serving fish that isn't from a can, and a little bit of ice cream to go with it. In addition, a run for fun, and some stuff about a drum? The news starts now. Please stand. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, folks, and no, this is not a joke. We're the full-time hosts for the time being. Yin and Yang come together to hopefully make the announcements better than they have been in millennia. I'm Dallas, and I'm now known as the man with a plan. And I'm Mo, and I haven't had a plan since I got a B-plus in reading in fifth grade. Anyway, in lines one and two, beef nachos. Line three, soup and salad bar featuring potato soup. Line four, Philly beef and Wild Mike pizza. And line five is clothes. No, that is not a mispronunciation. Clothes. C-L-O-T-H-E-S. Take that however you want. And a happy birthday goes out to Kylie Adams Long, Edgar Forrest, Kitania, Alexis Haynes, Amber Hutchin, and Kira Jackson. Now to sports with Nick. Thanks, Dallas. There was no score from the Charger relays over the weekend, as it was an unscored meet. The top performers include second place in the girls' 4x800, with Alanis, Sali, Gijosa, Valdez, and Espedio participating. Second place in the boys' 4x200 went to Kimbawe, Ford, Hernandez, Rosas, and Michael. Second place in the boys' high jump went to Diaz and Jordan. First place in the girls' pole vault went to Hernandez and Cervantes. First place in the girls' shot put went to Myers and Cervantes Zamora. And first in the freight train relay, aka the throwers 4x100, went to Garcia, Van Deventer, Myers, and Molinax. The next meet is the girls only Noblesville invite that will be taking place this Wednesday. On Saturday, the Frankfurt softball team participated in the Clinton Prairie Invite, going two and one on the day. The dogs started the day strong with the 14 to two win over Tri-County. Kareem Quinones led the dogs at the plate going five for five with one home run. Avery Drew followed going four for five, and Michaela Harper picked up the win for the dogs, pitching five innings, allowing three hits, and striking out five. In the second game of the day, the Hot Dogs faced Clay City, losing five to six in extra innings. Katie Roberts led the dogs at the plate, going three for four on the day. The dogs were strong on the bases with a total of eight stolen bases. And in their final game of the day, the Lady Dogs faced their county rival, Clinton Prairie. The Dogs tallied a total of 21 hits in the 10-inning game for the 12-11 victory. Kylie Norman led the Dogs going 4-6. for six. Michaela Harper started the game pitching 7 innings, allowing 6 hits and striking out a total of 4 on the day. The Dogs have a busy week ahead, traveling to Lebanon on Tuesday, and they also have traveled to Lafayette Jeff on Wednesday for a varsity and JV game. Then, once more at home on Thursday against Lebanon for yet another varsity and JV game. The Hot Dog Golfers completed, competed in the Twin Lakes Invitational this weekend, finishing 13th of 17 teams. Sasha Perch shot an 83. Following behind them was Drew Grismer with a 97, Camden Caesar with a 104, and Nolan Varner with a 106 combined for a total score of 390. A busy week is ahead for the dogs as they travel to Kokomo on Monday, Lafayette Jeff on Wednesday, and end the week Saturday at the Southmont Invitational. That's it for sports. Now on over to the studio with Mo. Thanks, Nick. Please support Crash by eating at Dairy Queen tomorrow from 4 to 9 p.m. You could get blizzards, sundaes, milkshakes, french fries, hamburgers, the almighty chicken strips. It'll be delicious. The Frankfurt Lions Club will be hosting an all-you-can-eat fish dinner on Thursday, April 25th at the 4-H building at the fairgrounds. 
Adult admission is $10. Children 5 to 12 get in for $5, and those 4 and under get in for free. Drum major auditions will continue tomorrow from 4 to 5 in the band room. Ladies and gentlemen, you have until May 1st to register for Strides for Stacy. The ten dollars you, you for ten dollars you can get a bracelet and a sticker. For twenty dollars you can get a bracelet, a sticker, and a T-shirt. And the same goes for if you register for thirty dollars. For those who don't know, early summer school is still going on from three to six every day until April 29th. So if you have work you need you need to do, be there. Well, that looks like it's going to be all for today's announcements. Make sure to tune in tomorrow when we, you know, have the announcements again, you know. Thank you. Well, I've been handed a piece of paper with some more stuff on it. Anyway, naturally, I'm going to now read it. <clears throat> oh, my. Well, it appears we have an Avengers Endgame leak on our hands. According to Tom Holland, who first posted the, posted the final page of the script to his personal Tumblr blog, <clears throat> Thanos uses the Time Stone to stop Mickey Mouse from gaining monopoly on all media outlets. Hmm. Odd. Okay. Well, now that's it. See you tomorrow, yada yada yada. We also leave you with this quote of the day. I think of every reason there is to live, mothers and sisters and gorillas and cake and flying. Wonder Woman, issue number 42. Have a great day.